He is known for his contributions to the field of science during the 17th century. He is recognized for his studies under the guidance of prominent mathematicians and scientists. His name is Evangelista Torricelli. In the bustling city of Rome, on October 15, 1608, a child named Evangelista Torricelli came into the world. Born into a poor family, Torricelli's parents recognized his talents and sent him to be educated in Faenza under the guidance of his uncle, Giacomo. His uncle ensured that he received a solid foundation in education before enrolling him in a Jesuit college to study mathematics and philosophy. Tragically, Torricelli's father passed away, and he was sent to Rome to continue his studies under the mentorship of Benedetto Castelli, a Benedictine monk and student of the renowned Galileo Galilei. Under Castelli's tutelage, Torricelli delved into the world of science, particularly in the field of hydraulics. Castelli, who was trusted by Pope Urban VIII with hydraulic projects, conducted experiments on running water. Although there is no concrete evidence of Torricelli's enrollment at the university, it is widely believed that he learned from Castelli and worked as his secretary for six years. This arrangement allowed Torricelli to witness firsthand the experiments and scientific endeavors funded by the Pope himself. During his time in Rome, Torricelli formed strong friendships with fellow students of Castelli, Raffaello Maggiotti, and Antonio Nardi. Galileo, affectionately referred to them as his triumvirate in Rome. Additionally, Torricelli also became a student of the esteemed mathematician Bonaventura Cavallari. Their friendship grew, and together, they embarked on a journey of intellectual exploration and discovery. In the world of physics, a brilliant mind by the name of Torricelli made a groundbreaking discovery that would revolutionize our understanding of atmospheric pressure. Torricelli's work led to the invention of the barometer, a device that measures air pressure, and solved the perplexing problem regarding suction pumps. Back in the early 1600s, Torricelli's teacher, Galileo, believed that suction pumps worked due to the force of vacuum. However, this explanation couldn't account for the fact that these pumps could only raise water up to a height of 10 meters. Torricelli proposed a different theory, he suggested that we live in a sea of air that exerts pressure, much like water on submerged objects. To test his hypothesis, Torricelli filled a long tube with mercury, a metal much denser than water. He placed one end of the tube in a basin of mercury and sealed the other end. As he raised the sealed end, the mercury level in the tube fell until it stabilized at around 76 centimeters above the surface of the mercury basin. This created what is now known as a Torricellian vacuum, the first recorded incident of creating a permanent vacuum. Another scientist named Blaise Pascal further confirmed Torricelli's theory. He showed that the height of the mercury column in the barometer decreased at higher elevations. This crucial insight laid the foundations for weather forecasting, as the fluctuation in the column's height indicates changes in atmospheric pressure. It also led to the development of the altimeter, a device that measures altitude and is used in various activities like hiking, climbing, skiing, and aviation. Torricelli's work not only solved the mystery of suction pumps but also gave birth to the first barometer and altimeter. His contributions to science are immortalized in terms like Torricellian tube and Torricellian vacuum. In fact, the unit of pressure used in vacuum measurements, the Tor, is named after him. Torricelli's genius forever changed our understanding of the world around us and paved the way for countless scientific advancements. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.